Leviticus 19 is a chapter of laws for the Hebrew nation. And it begins like this, The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the entire assembly of Israel and say to them, Be holy, because I, the Lord your God, am holy. Before God begins to lay down the law for his chosen people, he gives them an essential command to be holy. And I believe the reason is that God knew we could never be obedient to his law without his holiness. The idea behind the word holy is separate. And as it applies to God, it describes God's separateness or apartness from humanity. To you and I, it means that God is different than we are and from all others, different in his being and different in his nature and attributes. Commentator David Guzik said, God has a righteousness unlike any other, a justice unlike any other, a purity unlike any other, and love, grace, and mercy unlike any other. God is different or separate from his creation, from you and I. But at the same time, we are able to be holy because God is holy. God is separate from man and from all his creation. Yet because we are made in the image of God, in Christ, we have the ability to follow in his footsteps, to be holy as he is holy. In the context of this writing, Israel was to be different, separate from the nations and the peoples around them. And we, as followers of Jesus, are to be different from the culture and the people around us. G. Campbell Morgan, British evangelist and Bible teacher said, a people created and governed by God are intended to represent him and the truth concerning him to other people. So let me encourage you, as you read through all the laws in Leviticus chapter 19 today, not to get all hung up in the laws themselves, but to focus on Jesus and how we're called to be holy, different from the world around us by following his example.